Hello, welcome to another vlog. This is a little bit of a spontaneous one. So basically, I bought this this morning um, thinking it was the brow dye um, and I've just gone to do it and realised it's a lash tint. So what we're doing is a DIY lash tint for the first time. So I've just put on the activator gel, which is this one, um, using this. Um, and I'm currently just waiting for that to develop so that I can put on the developer gel. I got it in dark brown because obviously I thought it was a brow kit but it's actually a lash kit. I'm also doing it on my brows which I don't know if it's a good idea or not but we're doing it anyway. So yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the camera and um, record this moment because it could be about to go very wrong. I can leave this on for another minute and then I need to take off the activator gel and put on the developer. Good job I've actually read the instructions, otherwise I genuinely wouldn't have even realised it was the lash kit and not the eyebrow kit. Um, but yeah, it's a bit weird because you put on the activator gel and then fully leave it, then you fully take that off, which is what I need to do now. Um, and then, what am I saying? And then put the next bit on and leave it and take it off again. So bear with me two seconds, I'm going to get a cotton pad. Okay, I'm a bit scared. Also, I don't know if the angle is going to be good or not, but I'm in my mum's room because the lighting is better. I also have multiple mirrors, which one should I use? <laughs> it seems to be a bit higher, to be honest. And then I can use this. Right. Okay. Um, how does this take it off? From your lashes, by folding the pad in half, enclosing the lashes in between the sides of your fingers and very gently pulling away. That sounds stressful. I feel like I'm gonna get cotton pad eyelashes. I feel like I'm just potentially pulling out all of my lashes. I don't know if it's coming off or not. This is meant to go on eyebrows, is it? Like my brows are laminated. That'll do. I don't really know if that's off, but we're going in for step two. I've done the activating gel, now I need the developer gel on the other side. Oh, I need to clean the wand. I need a tissue, hang on. I've got these little bamboo panda pocket tissues, which I don't even know where they came from, but they're so cute. But I'm just gonna use this to clean. That's what I thought was gonna happen. It's now just full of tissue. It's like using a tissue, clean it. Yeah, this is pretty wacky, it's just covered in tissue. Okay, I've given it a rinse, but I'm pretty sure it still has um, bits of tissue in it. But we'll see how we go. So it says to put one centimetre of developer gel. I don't know what I'm doing. And you have to swizzle it round like so this is stressful then what in the coat of lighter lashes coat them well okay here we go here we go i'm gonna move the mirror so you can actually see what i'm doing okay i'm so stressed that's making my eyes sting with this. Please note you can colour the lashes with both eyes at the same time. I don't think you can because I don't think I can open my eyes with this stuff on it. Is that well coated? I don't know. You're supposed to do your lower lashes. Oh, sting in my eye. You're supposed to do your la lower lashes and your top lashes. I think I'm just going to do the top ones and see how it goes but I am also going to do my eyebrow and maybe that's not a good move but we're going to try it anyway. quite dark. Okay. Let's be hoping that that doesn't stay that dark. <laughs> um, yeah, let's not leave that one for long. Okay, the eyes calmed down, so I'm gonna try and do the other one. It's a good job I don't have work for a few days, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm so stressed. Okay, 
I'm not going to leave this on for long. <laughs> imagine if they don't, imagine if they just stay like this. What would I actually do? I don't know. Right. How long am I meant to leave it on for? Minimum of one minute. For a more intense result, you can leave for a maximum of four minutes. That's not long. Like, don't forget about this. That one's gonna be darker, isn't it? I can tell. Oh, I'm so stressed. <laughs> How do I get it off? Remove the developer gel with a cotton pad. Oh, exactly the same as before, but surely that's just gonna get in my eye. I'm really not sure about this, guys. Under five minute application. Well, I beg to differ because this video is already 10 minutes. And I started before I picked up the camera. Let my neck. What would you guys do if this is how my eyebrows were? I would just have to wear really intense makeup for the rest of the week because it looks weird because I haven't got any makeup on. I mean, it's going to look bad anyway, but... Okay, I'm going to take it off because I'm stressed. <laughs> okay, well... I mean... Okay. Okay. Let me get another one for the lashes. Right, fold it in half and squeeze. Ow, oh, it's in my eye. Okay. I think we're there. Okay. What do we think? Let me get another one and just brush brush them through a little bit I'm not mad okay this is the final let me pick up the camera this is the final result I mean not bad really I think I probably could have left it on a little bit longer but I was scared about my eyes um, the eyebrows are very dark like they're basically black um, but again I'm not that mad about it I'm not that mad about it um, it is dark brown I did get the dark brown if you missed it at the beginning this is what it was I probably should have got like a medium brown um, yeah, because the eyebrows, I mean, that is literally not a kit for your eyebrows. And to be honest, on the lashes, it does look like a good colour. Like, I don't think I'd want black because that's quite natural. Sorry, you're getting a proper shot at my nose. Um, I'm trying to show you my eyes. There we go. Yeah, the lashes look quite natural, to be fair. Could have left it on a little bit longer. The eyebrows, excuse the fact that I need to pluck them. Um, but yeah, a little bit dark, but if it like fades over the next couple of days, I won't be mad at that. So this was like nine pounds, no, eight pounds, I think, and I got a discount because I have the Boots contact lens um, scheme, which gives you like 10% off everything, I think. Um, so yeah, this is like eight pounds something, and they're the tubes, obviously, like that's not just a one time thing, you can use these again and you don't need a lot at all um, to do this and I did obviously lashes and brows but yeah they're like that big they're 3.5 mil which sounds like nothing but for the amount you need to do this not bad at all it comes with the little wand as well also step at the beginning I didn't film because this is before I picked up the camera um, I put I didn't have any Vaseline but if you have Vaseline you should put Vaseline um, under your eyebrows over your eyebrows in the middle and for the lash tint under and on your eyelids um, just so it doesn't like dye your skin I didn't have any Vaseline so I used um, this lip balm which I figured would be the same thing um, it's just the boots one come on focus you bastard there we go it's just the boots one um, but this is all I had but it actually worked really well and because it's a stick it was like not as messy as it is sometimes with Vaseline. I'm actually not mad about these eyebrows. Obviously it looks weird because I don't have any other makeup on, but yeah, I think I do still need mascara. I mean, I didn't buy this for the lash tint. Um, I don't think lash tint is really worth it for me because my eyelashes are so short that I feel like I need mascara on as well. 
lashes even with a proper lash tint I would still want mascara um, so yeah I wouldn't get a lash tint again but for the eyebrows I'm not mad about it that actually went a lot better than I thought I thought I was going to be filming a massive fail while you're here I'll show you what else I got in boots um, just to finish off the vid so I got um, so basically I've been using let me show you what I've been using on my brows for the last two years I've been using this little <laughs> crappy little palette um, I don't even know what brand it is colour colour couture it's, it says that is all I can tell you um, and obviously I've been using that middle one for literally two years I got that for Christmas two years ago down. that's what I've been using and it's run out and I'm like but what do I do now because I've just got good brow um, so I've been on a bit of a brow shopping spree today as you can probably tell um, so I got this sleek brow kit um, in medium yeah in medium um, I'm gonna open it and see what it's like it's got any scissors I've also lost my scissors so I have to use my massive big boy fabric scissors every time I want to get into something which is not ideal these might actually be too big okay this is cute I actually think that sleek is really underrated could you focus please oh cute okay so it literally is the most basic thing ever um it just has two two little brown powders and then tiny tweezers and tiny brushes how cute um but yeah that looks like it could be oh it's not sorry my bad um this one is a little like wax thing and then this one is the powder cute okay hopefully that will just replace my little palette that i had but i also got the revolution medium brown flex brow brow pomade 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 i don't know how you say that word um it's this one that was upside down it's this one basically i've just spent an extortionate amount of money when i could have just um bought one of these but i felt the need to try them all i've never used a pom pomade pomade can you tell i'm not a beauty vlogger um please someone tell me how to pronounce that um but yeah i've never used one of these before i've always used a pencil and then up until i got that powder obviously then i started using the powder i literally cannot get into this box so it comes with a nice angled brush and this is the product itself oh it's very dark is this the same dark dark this is medium brown but look at that to be fair it probably does match these very dark brows now look at that um, maybe that was a good happy accident should i try it no i'm gonna save it but this is what i'm gonna be attempting to do my brows with I will keep you up keep you updated in the next vlog how I got on with that but yeah that is my little um, mini boots haul today oh and I got I think can't remember who I was watching but I was watching someone do a makeup tutorial um, I think it was Zana Zana Van Dyke on her channel um, using blush and like a little liquid blush and I was like that looks so nice so I got myself a little cheek and lip tint from Barry M I don't know if that's what you can see. Yeah. Um, in this like heat peachy pinky colour. And yeah. I'll try a bit on my lips now to show you. Cool. But it was really hard to find a like liquid blush. They were, oh, I've got way too much. But it is a lip tint as well, so. That's a nice colour. I didn't want it to be too bright, but that's nice. I'll try a little bit on blush. Bear in mind I have no other makeup on, but I'm just, I'm literally using my camera screen as a mirror, so bear with. That is what I bought in Boots today, and this is the finished brow situation. Um, my eyes are a little bit stingy, I might have to just run a, makeup remover cotton pad over my eyes just to get rid of that but other than that i'm actually quite impressed and i think i will just use that on my brows again despite the fact that it is a tiny bit dark um 
but yeah thanks for coming on this journey with me i didn't know where we were going to end up but here we are not that bad i will keep you updated on the brow products on these and on the blush when I decide to use it properly and not just on a bare face because that doesn't really work. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this little video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!